guys, it's Arianita La Gringa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will teach all of you dog vocabulary because we are going to the pet store. But first off, what is a pet? A pet is an animal kept for companionship. That is my pet. He is a puppy. Pets can come in various shapes and sizes. So you can have a dog as a pet, a cat as a pet, or even a reptile. And I am the owner of my pet puppy, Ozuna. So I am the one who takes care of my animals. I am the one who gives them love, and I am the one responsible to take care of them. Do you have a dog or any other pets? Let me know down below. And in today's video, my puppy needs a haircut. So I'm going to take him to the groomers because right now he can't see through his eyes. He has a lot of hair and he is shedding a lot of fur. So I'm going to take him to the groomers today. And yesterday I made an appointment for my puppy to get a haircut because I need to make a reservation. I can't just walk inside the pet store without making an appointment because they may be busy, they may need to trim other dogs' hair, and sometimes they might not have room to take him. So yesterday I made an appointment and I'm going to show you guys how I made that appointment by the phone. Hey everybody, now I'm going to make an appointment with PetSmart. So I looked up their page and now I will call them with this button. For the grooming salon, press two. I want the grooming salon, so I'm going to press two. An online order, press. Book your grooming appointment at PetSmart.com forward slash grooming on our mobile app, or please hold for the next available associate. I'm going to make an appointment, but I have to wait a while. Two to four minutes. Now I am on hold. I am waiting for the next associate to answer the phone. How can I help you? Hi, I'd like to make an appointment for my puppy. He needs a haircut. Okay, what phone number can we find you under? And what's the dog's name? Ozuna. And you know this is the Florence location, correct? Yes. Do you know how much is a haircut? Because this will be his first time. Uh, that full haircut is 66 before 66? any like, add-ons or anything. Okay. Yeah, I'll make an appointment. What time are you guys available? Looks like our students available is going to be Tuesday. We can do an 8 a.m., a 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12.30, or a 1.30. Can we do 1.30? 1 1.30, 1 yeah. All right, I will put you down for 1.30 this Tuesday the 6th. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. You too. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. I just made my appointment with PetSmart but I have to wait a couple of days. But now let's jump right back into the video. Now that you guys know that I have an appointment to cut my dog's hair today, now it's time to go there. To go there, I need to go to my car and drive to the pet store. I just came from the dog park. My dog was playing with another dog, but then it started raining. And now it's finally time to go to my appointment. The reason why I came to the park today is because I want to walk my dog. I am walking my dog. And this is a great way for my dog to get exercise. Also, while he's outside, he also needs to use the bathroom. He needs to pee and poop. So that's why right now he's in the grass. Now it's raining, so let's go ahead and head to the pet store. Let's go, Zuna. come on. I have finally made it to the pet store. Right now, I'm in front of PetSmart. This is one of the largest retail stores in America, and they sell pet products and pet services. And they have services like dog grooming, and they also have a pet hospital. Let's go inside and check out what's inside the store because right now, it's still raining. Let's go, Zuna. Right now, I'm inside the pet store. I'm inside PetSmart, and they have two different types of services inside the store. The first one is a grooming salon, grooming salon, where I will take my puppy, Ozuna, to get a haircut, and the dog groomer will cut his hair. Grooming involves regular care to keep your dog healthy. So this consists of brushing your dog with a brush, bathing your dog, nail trimming, and more. And that's what they're gonna do inside the grooming salon. 
because clearly I'm not a professional, so if I were to cut his hair, it would turn out so bad. So that's why I'm going to have a dog groomer cut his hair. I'm right on time for his appointment, so now I'm going to walk inside the grooming salon. Yes, this is the rabies vaccine. Been treated for fleas or ticks this month? No. Any known heart murmur, heart disease, or heartworm? No. On any sedation today? No. Any health concerns? No. And any aggression? No. I just dropped off my puppy at the grooming salon. And since I'm going to be here for a while, I might as well show you what's inside the store but I'm going to focus on dog vocabulary. So I'm gonna show you the different aisles that they have just for dogs. Now I'm going to go aisle by aisle and I will teach you all the vocabulary related to dogs. These are dog bowls, dog bowls. This one says eat and you'll put dog food in the dog bowl. And this one says drink. So you'll put water in this bowl and they have different sizes. So this is obviously for small dogs, like my puppy Ozuna. And they also have big bowls. Look at the difference between this bowl and this one. This one is a lot smaller than the large one. The small dog bowls are $10.99 and the large dog bowls are $16.99. And this is a placemat. So a placemat will go on the ground or on the floor and you'll put your dog bowls on top of the placemat. And this placemat will protect the floor. So if your dog is eating, you won't have to worry about cleaning up the floor because this placemat is there to protect your floor. What is this called? This is a leash, dog leash. And it is a long strap or cord that is used to restrict or guide your dog. So you always need to use a leash and attach it to the dog so you can walk your dog, control your dog, and that way he won't run away. And what do you attach this leash to? Well, you attach the leash to a dog collar. This is a collar. And that way you can restrain and guide your dog with a leash and his collar. A collar is a band worn around a dog's neck. If you don't want to use a dog collar because it may choke the dog, then you can buy this. What is this called? This is a harness, dog harness. And a harness will go around a dog's body so the dog won't be choking when you walk him. If you have a dog, do you prefer to use a collar or harness? Let me know down below. And this is another type of leash, but it's a chain leash because this will prevent dogs from chewing uh, the leash. And this is another type of dog collar, but it's a chain collar and it's a no pull chain collar. And over here they have different sizes of the no pull chain collars. So of course, if you have a small dog, you'll go with a small size. And if you have a large dog, you'll go with the larger size. And they also sell outdoor dog boots. Look how cute these are. So these boots will go on the paws of your dog's feet. And this will protect your dog's paws from the snow when it gets really cold or from hot temperatures. And behind me, they have dog beds. There are different sizes of dog beds because of course, you wouldn't buy a huge dog bed if you have a small dog. So these dog beds are so dogs can sleep on them. This dog bed feels soft and it looks comfortable. I feel like any dog would love to sleep on a dog bed. Moving on to another aisle, let's see what they have in this aisle. So behind me, they have different types of dog treats. What is this dog treat called? This is a dog bone, dog bone. And dogs love to chew things. They love to chew everything inside the house. Next to these dog bones, they have even more dog treats. But first, what is a treat? A treat is basically just a reward for your dog. So if your dog is being good, if he's behaving, you can give him a dog treat and a dog treat will keep him nice and busy, especially if it's a big one, like a dog bone, but a dog treat can also help you train your dog. They have different types of dog treats and each one has a different flavor. For example, 
They have a churro style stick and these small dog bones are wrapped with real chicken. I'm sure your dog would love this. These are waffle sticks, but these are made with real chicken. So these waffle sticks just have the form of a waffle, but they taste just like chicken. And at the end of this aisle, they have natural chews or things that dogs can chew on. So over here, they have a pig ear. This is a real pig ear. They also have a buffalo horn. This is $10.99. And this is a peanut butter filled buffalo horn. And they also have a beef shin bone. This one is pretty big and this one costs $10.99. Some other things that a dog can chew on are deer antlers. These are deer antlers. They also have an elk antler. This one's pretty big. And they also have a moose antler. This one is huge. Also over here, they have products just in case if your dog makes an accident inside the house, which just means if he goes pee or poop inside the house. So they have odor eliminators. And over here, if you saw my household chores vocab video, you would know that I use this on my rug because this keeps my rug fresh and it makes it smell good. They have different types of eliminators. So they have an odor eliminator for the smell. They have a stain and odor eliminator. Over here, this is a urine destroyer. It'll just break down the urine stains on your carpet or your rug. And then this is a severe mess stain and odor. I feel bad for the people that actually have to buy this because their dog made a mess in the house. <laughs> It'll basically clean up pet stains, urine, vomit, diarrhea, mud, grease, and wine. Right now, I'm in the dog toy aisle you can see that there are a bunch of toys all around me. And toys are essential for dogs to stay entertained and active. And toys are different among each animal. For example, cat toys, bird toys are different from dog toys because dog toys are chewable toys. So you can buy chewable toys like this one or like a bone, or a lot of dog toys will be in the shape of a bone. One way a dog can stay active is playing fetch with them. So you can grab a fetch stick or a tennis ball and then you throw the stick and then you say go fetch and the dog will run and grab the stick or the tennis ball and bring it back to you. And these toys are for tuggers. So if you like playing a game of tug of war, well that's great because you can play it with your dog. So this is a fun dog toy because your dog will bite on this end and then you'll play tug of war. So you'll be pulling this and then he'll try tugging it. Over here, these are squeaky toys and they're called squeaky toys because when your dog bites these little stuffed animals, they will squeak. They have different kinds of squeaky toys. This one is a lion. This one is an octopus. This one is a banana. And then this is another squeaky toy. This is a clownfish. Do you guys remember the name of the movie that has a clownfish in it? That movie is called Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. Before moving on to another aisle, look what I found. I found disposable diapers. So when dogs get older, they may suffer with incontinence. So that's why they sell diapers in the store. And over here they have shampoos, but these shampoos will treat fleas. So if your dog has fleas, that will make him scratch a lot. That may give him a skin infection. And to treat fleas, you need to buy a special shampoo for dogs and puppies. So they have different types of shampoos. They also have sprays that you can spray on the fur of your dog. That way it'll kill and treat fleas. And another way to treat fleas or ticks is buying an ointment or a cream. And over here they have different types of protective collars. So this is a carrying collar or e-collar and this will go around your dog's neck. For example, if your dog has surgery on his leg, you won't want your dog biting that leg or trying to lick that leg, you want that leg to heal. The most important thing about taking care of a pet like a dog is maintaining its health. Part of the grooming process, of course, besides bathing your dog, cutting his hair, is also dental health. So you can buy an actual toothbrush with toothpaste that are made just for dogs. Or if one day if you want to freshen up your dog's breath, you can just give him a dental treat and it'll freshen up his breath. So both of these are great ways to make sure that your dog's teeth are clean and smell good. 
So you can brush your dog's teeth with a toothbrush or you can give a dental treat. Now, what happens if your dog makes a number two or he goes poop on the grass? Do you just leave it there or do you pick it up? Well, you obviously pick it up, but you pick it up with waste bags. So there are several different types of waste bags that you will use to clean up dog poop. And you'll put these waste bags in this waste bag dispenser and then you'll just pull each waste bag one by one every time your dog goes poop. And another way to clean up dog poop is this. This is a pooper scooper. So it'll pick up dog poop. Let's pretend that was dog poop. <laughs> In this aisle, you can find pet food, but specifically dog food. And this is one of the main reasons why people go to the pet store is to buy dog food. So they have different types of dog food. They have dry food, or it's called kibble, and these are different types of wet foods. And over here, they even have freezers inside a pet store. I would have never imagined that they have freezers inside the store. Well, this is frozen food, and you can buy dog treats like a dog slushie for your dog. You can also buy frozen dog food. So they have frozen lamb, this is frozen chicken for your dog. And of course, this is frozen food, so you need to keep it frozen in the freezer. And then over here, they have fresh food that's in the refrigerator. And you need to keep this food in the refrigerator because it's fresh food. Because if you leave it out in your cabinet, it'll go bad. Right now, I'm in another aisle and they have even more dog food. So over here, they have dry kibble or dry food. They have different sizes flavors and prices. It can be a little bit overwhelming trying to choose between all the different types of dog food because you can go for kibble, there are canned dog food, they have wet food. Over here, this dry kibble for one bag, it's $57.99. Owning a dog and being a pet owner can be very expensive. I can spend a long time in this aisle trying to pick and choose between which dog food I want to buy from my puppy. This is one of the largest bags of kibble and it's $84.99 and one of the cheapest prices that I've seen in this aisle is this bag for $16.49. My puppy has everything he needs. He has enough food in the house, he has a collar, a harness, a leash, and way too many toys. So today, I'm not going to buy anything in the store. Let me know down below what types of things you guys bought for your pets. Do you buy a lot of treats? Let me know. If you recently adopted a puppy or bought a puppy, then you will need these. These are dog pads and they're very important because you need to train your dog to use the bathroom. And dogs may have a very small bladder so they might make accidents in the house. And that's why dog pads are a great way for dogs to pee in the house and to not make a mess. And also you might wonder, what is a puppy? Well, this is a puppy and a puppy is a small dog who is usually less than a year old. So you guys already know that this store has diapers for dogs, but they also have pet strollers. This pet stroller is $119.99 and this one is $139.99. For me, these strollers are expensive. They're very similar to the same strollers that kids would use. Having a pet can be as expensive as having a kid, depending on how much you wanna buy for him. Now, can you tell me what this is called? This is a crate or a cage. So if you're going to work, you can put your dog in a cage and he won't run around your home or your apartment. I'm inside the pet store. Of course, they sell things for other types of animals, but let me see how many aisles they have for dogs. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight aisles just for dogs. So to me, this is mostly a dog store because they have so many things that they sell for dogs. And over here, they have pet apparel. So they have different types of shirts just for your dog or your cat. And to be honest, they're expensive. This shirt is $19.99. And it looks just like a shirt that I would wear. <laughs> Now that I taught you almost everything you need to know about dogs, since I have already covered this half of the store that sells dog items, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the store, the second half. This is the cat section. So this aisle sells cat food. And then over here, they sell different types of cat treats. And over here, they have a bunch of cat toys, but I'm not gonna go in depth on cat vocab 
because I'm just gonna talk about dog vocab. If you have a cat, don't worry because I have a cat and I'm so excited to make a video about cats for you guys. And inside the store, they have a training center. So basically you can teach your pet commands and you teach your pet early on when they're a puppy. That way they can listen to you as they get older. You can teach commands like sit, down, roll over, and paw. If you have a dog, does your dog know different types of commands? Let me know down below. I can spend hours and hours walking around this pet store. There are so many different aisles for pets and I have three pets. I have a dog, a cat, and I have fish. That's why I like this store because I can find everything I need for my pets. Here inside the pet store, you can adopt a cat and this will help them find a forever home. In the pet store, there are cats in cages because they are still trying to find a home for them. So you can see the pet description, the breed, the different types of vaccines the cats have, also their names, and neat things to know about them. I feel bad that these cats are in cages, but I hope some people that are shopping in the store can eventually adopt these cats and give them a home. And lastly, before picking up my puppy Ozuna from his grooming appointment, I want to show you guys that this store also has a pet hospital. You'll find the veterinarian or the vet, and that's just basically the doctor for animals. And one way to maintain your pet's health or to have them be healthy is to take them to the vet and inside they'll administer vaccines to prevent your dog or your cat from diseases. Before dropping my dog off at the grooming salon, I needed to go to the pet hospital to the vet to give him the rabies vaccine. So this is the rabies vaccine and the proof of it. So in order to bring your dog to the grooming salon, you need to make sure your dog has all of the correct vaccines that prevent him from diseases. This is a dog tag, dog tag. So you can write your dog's name on the dog tag and on the back of the dog tag, you can write your phone number and this will go on your dog's collar around his neck. So in case your dog does get lost, at least the person will know his name and your phone number and you can engrave the dog's name on this dog tag with this machine. I already have a dog tag for my dog Ozuna, so I'm going to put this back. Ozuna! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I just picked up my puppy from the grooming salon. He looks so cute and now he can see out of his eyes, his hair is a lot shorter, and he feels so soft. Right now I'm going to pay for Ozuna's haircut at the cash register and it costs $77 for a haircut. How much do you guys pay for a haircut for your dog? Let me know down below. And after I pay, I'm going to head home because I'm going to show you guys and teach you Ozuna's body parts. So let's go home. Hey guys, we're at the final part of the video and I want to talk more about my puppy Ozuna. So. What type of breed is Ozuna and what is a dog breed? So a dog breed is a similar group of dogs with similar traits or characteristics. For example, Ozu is a Yorkie Poo. In English, we don't say, what is your dog's race? No, we say, what is your dog's breed? Because race is only used for humans. Now I'm going to teach you the different parts of a dog. This is my puppy Ozu, and this is his paw. It is basically the foot of the dog. This is my dog's tail, tail. And when he moves his tail side to side, that is called wagging his tail. When he wags his tail, that means he's excited and really happy. This is my dog's head. 
This is his face. He has two ears. He has a nose that helps him smell. And then around his nose, he has whiskers. And whiskers help him navigate around. And then this part is the muzzle, the nose and the mouth of a dog. And my dog is trying to lick me right now with his tongue. <laughs> right now, I am stroking his fur and that is called petting. I am petting my puppy. And this is fur, fur. And a loud sound that dogs normally make is called barking. That's when dogs say ruff, ruff. <coughs> Okay everybody, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed learning all about dog vocabulary. And let me know down below what is your dog's breed and what's your dog's name. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!